Hello everyone, welcome to the corner. I just wanted to do a quick update. This is going to be just something short and sweet, quick, get it done, see if this video works as an upload. I don't know. Last two videos I've shot, for whatever reason, they did not want to upload. Took a day and a half to try to get them done and they wouldn't go. And I just gave up on them, so I deleted them. So I'm trying to do something new here. Just trying a quick short one just to see if I can get this one to upload. So we're going to try it. Anywho, just wanted to do a quick update. What you see in front of you is my Kenworth that I've been working on. It's getting there. It is getting there. Slowly but surely. <laughs> um, cab is mounted. i got to put a hinge stop on it, though. The hinge wants to keep going forward on me, and it won't stop without dropping all the way down. So I want to put a hinge stop on it to where it, the cab will rest about here and stay. Uh, plumbing is all in, all the air, ductwork, exhaust, etc., etc. Exhaust is up to this point. Um, I got to cut down a cup. I use Culver's drinking straws for my stacks, just because they give the the bigger bore, like a, a nine or ten inch diameter, you know, chrome stack, like what, what you'd see through Chrome Mafia or something like that. Some you know, company like that, but. These will go on, and then I'll cut these down to, you can't see it too well, but these will be cut down to, a, you know, whatever length I want them at, wherever I want the height to be. But i got to cut those down yet, then these will just get spray painted. I tried bare metal foil in a set one time, and the bare metal foil didn't turn out too bad, but it didn't turn out the greatest either, so, eh, you know. <laughs> I'm going to try to do this. Got the, everything in the way in the background here, but give you an idea of what the front looks like here. That's the front. The decals came out of a parts lot that I got one time. The parts, along with a three file folders full of de decals. So I'm using a set of decals out of what I got from the one guy from Canada. This is the back side one. I'd be maybe wondering why there's a bowl on the back of the cab. <laughs> the reason why is because when this truck is done, it'll be having it'll have a one of the Wilson livestock trailers on the back stretched out either into a spread axle um, cattle hauler, bull hauler, or it'll have a tri axle on it. I haven't decided which way I want to go yet. I'm kind of leaning more towards a three axle at this point. But that, that'll be what's going to be sitting behind this, is a cattle hauler, bull hauler they call them. Uh, tail light bar. Bare metal foil, the fifth wheel on it just to give it the polished aluminum. Or just a you know chrome look, whatever you want to call it. But all in all, that's pretty much it on that. Slide it back, because I want to slide something else in here next. And I'm going to wrap this video up fairly quick. This is what I tried shooting the video of prior to this. And like I say, the whatever reason, the video did not work. So hopefully this one will. But this is what I've come up with for the Bronco. And you're probably not going to see it too well with the truck sitting in the background here. But um, Use the same color purple that I used on the KW. Uh, shot... Turned out pretty good. For most of the part, you guys all saw the uh, cab sitting in primer white, or the body sitting in primer white like this one has been for so long. What I did is I took the purple, stood above, or held the paint stand and shot straight down like you're looking at the body here. I shot from up here and shot straight down at the body to put the purple on. And then I did, put, I've got a, ro a rotating paint stand. And then from the side, I shot it from the, right directly from the side and shot it with the orange. Uh, orange is to me is metallic orange, 60 PS 61. That's the orange on here. And then after that, I put the Sandman decals from the Bronco kit, the Bronco up on the side of the scoop, American flag on the side, a couple of sponsor, you know, sponsorship type logos on it. Hang loose on the front nose or the front of the hood. There's the grill. 
chopped down to fit within the body. Out back the four logos and then the tail lights painted in. Didn't turn out too bad. I ate it. I mean the way I had it pictured in my mind is kind of how it turned out and it turned out pretty good so I'm, I'm happy with it. I thought about putting some more decaling on it but I was like yeah I just like it the way it looks. Not overdone, not you know too much on it so I thought about putting a couple of numbers on the side of it or on the back somewhere maybe I'll do that later but for time being that's what I came up with and I'm happy with it it's done so one more done yay <laughs> now we're just working on the KW and as what you can see in the background here there's another project on the horizon got a Ford Louisville I'm gonna put a sleeper behind and then I'm gonna put a tandem drive on the back side of it I'm gonna build a hauler with a Coors trailer or the racing car trailer behind it and uh, build up a Bigfoot I'm gonna have a monster truck with the the big uh, all-terrain tires that would can be detachable and have the tour the transport tires they call them the military style tires smaller diameter tires put on it and then that way the Bigfoot truck will fit into the back of the race hauler idea that I have for a while and something I've been wanting to do so that's going to be on the horizon when who knows a little who knows when that'll get done but maybe some year <laughs> but yeah just wanted to kick out just a quick little update tonight and kind of go from there and get this thing done so maybe I can try getting something uploaded tomorrow we'll see how it goes if you all see the video by this weekend you know it worked <laughs> but uh just want to say thank you to all the subscribers. Uh, you've been it's been a treat doing all this, and I like doing it. Don't plan on stopping anytime soon, but going to be some changes on the horizon coming up in the near future, probably the next six months or so. But we'll touch bases on that later on. But uh, yeah, thanks everybody for subscribing. Hope to get some more subscribers, and hoping to have fun in the future. Everyone, take care. We'll see you in the corner. Have a good Easter. E ha yeah. Have a good, happy, and safe Easter, everyone. Take care, and we'll catch you all later. See you in the corner. Bye bye.